So this book, for me, I've been wanting to tell a lot of this lore for a long time. Uh, after working on Titanfall and Titanfall 2, there's been so much backstory, so much lore making this world lived in before we even got into Apex. Once we got into Apex, we started getting um, even more lore on top of existing lore with not a lot of outlets, not a lot of place to tell it. So one thing I definitely want to get out is this is this is the world of Apex. This is the world of Titanfall. This is all the stuff that has been inside of our heads that we finally get to talk about. And that means adding context to all of the legends that everyone loves and all of that juicy lore that people have been asking for a very long time. We get to lay all that out and, and say it in a way that isn't just on a website, you know, and that's another thing. We didn't want to just put it on a website. We didn't want to just put it on a tweet for only the lore hounds to find. We wanted to put it in something official that looked good and also told a story. We were always looking for ways to put it in the game, but there's some things, there's just so much content that there's some things you just can't get in, in a, in a logical way that's still fun for the game. So in this book, when, when I sat down to write my part, I was like, okay, if I never wrote another word about these characters, what do I want people to know at this moment? So it was really cool to get to explore these different aspects of the characters. Like I worked on the Bloodhound chapter and I think there's some stuff in the Bloodhound chapter that's gonna surprise people. Each of our characters have uh, you know, personal backstories, just moments in their lives, little tidbits here and there that we've noticed our fans really, really enjoy. And those are stories we wanna tell. Uh, which is why we wrote a book that only we could write because these are, the, these are the stories we've been thinking about since day one. With this book, I remember in the beginning being like, so it's not an encyclopedia, what exactly is it? And you and I just kind of bouncing ideas back and forth. And, and I remember being like, hey, what the hell? Why not make one of them a screenplay? And you were like, great, let's do that. Like it's, it's there's so many different genres and formats. And, and this book is unlike anything I've ever read or unlike anything I've ever written. This book is a, a more story driven book than just an encyclopedia because that was something we didn't want to do was just have a, uh, a a glossary and where you can just look up what this means and then go to that page and just see what what a marvin is when you get the book don't just flip to the chapter that you want to get the answers to don't be like oh i need to know about revenants i want to go right to the revenant chapter please don't this is a book meant to be read from chapter one to the end in in order uh, because there is a story being told. So you will get spoilers if you jump ahead. Uh, so please read it as you would any other book. Since we're able to tell certain backstories for our characters, we get to have the occasional uh, art piece that is accompanying it, which means you're going to be able to see some people. You're going to be able to see some uh, uh, environments of our characters' backstories. So each chapter does have its own uh, unique art piece that we... Um, are extremely grateful to our animation and art team who helped us out. We have a concept artist named uh, Christina Ferez. And her, the work she did for this book is, it blew us away. Like, I, I can't wait. I cannot wait for players to see the, uh, some of the original art that's in here because, man, it's, it's stuff they've been looking for for a long time. Basically, every part of the team that has a visual component to, to their work mobilized for this because you have great 2D art, you got great 3D art, it's a true passion project, I think, for everyone at Respawn who uh, who supported us and chipped in and uh, allowed us to to go free and do what we wanted. I think uh, pretty much everyone at Respawn is a storyteller. And yes, we are making a, a battle royale game, but we all want to find ways to tell story. And that comes from art, that comes from writing, that comes from the audio department, that comes from animation, and it comes from design, whether it's like, uh, you know, tense moments or it's like making you cry because of an image. And I guarantee in this book, if you read it from beginning to end, you will go on that emotional roller coaster. You will cry, you will <laughs> laugh, you will uh, be terrified. <laughs> you will go through every single emotion. And that's just, you know, what being part of Respawn and being part of Apex Legends has always been for us.